I do think I want a second, oops, Shiro, a second Ganark, probably. LCS start before LEC? Um, I guess so. LEC not started already? How come no Shaman experimenting? I played Shaman literally all day yesterday. Okay. Do this. Yes, I could get more damage in if I hit the guy by like one, but this guy gets an additional attack if I attack with this first. You plan on playing BC? I do not. Um. I was playing Rakara and everything's going phase. They'll be the first level 70 in Realm again? Well, I, I'm not even like, you know, level 15, so that would be hard. Oh, I should have positioned this differently against- Oh, the Fell Rattler! That sucks. It does make this guy scary. Don't get a, uh, performers, please. Okay, that one's that one could be a lot worse. Hmm. They have another fell rattler. This is really bad. It clears my board. I think I do this. Go face, please. Okay, thank god. If that, like, traded there... Didn't even trade, it stays immune, apparently? Because it's immune this turn? That would have been insanely bad for me. Hmm... Alright. So another, like, Fell Rider is really bad for me here. It's not, like, the end of the world, but it kills... I, you know, let's my opponent trade off for my entire board. The Kurtris was really good there, though. Alright. Oh boy. It's a really good draw. Put you to two. Okay. No. Oh, like Fell Rattler and Death Side Cultist are the two things that'd be really scary, really bad for me here. At least theoretically bad for me. Okay, well, now you're really dead. The classic frothing. Froth you to death. I didn't even get, like, you know, the, like, Hatchet plus Nitro Boost, which is a big part of, like, kind of the plan of what I'm trying to do with this deck. We still got a lot of damage in. I do like me a Frothing Berserker. It is a blast from the past. Meh, we'll mulligan all this. I feel like this deck does want a second Ganarg. Hello there. Oh, Control Warrior. All right. My hand is real bad, too. It's less bad now. Not a fan of that right now. Um. If there's not a specific rank you need to be to get, you know, bonus stars and legend or whatever. So they can coin rank for me. All right, we're gonna Og Merchant this guy. And play this. This guy is gonna clear here, this goes face. So if they do like Rancor me, these survive and do a lot of damage. This is a pretty bad, probably both matchup and draw, but definitely a pretty awkward draw for the matchup. Okay. So yeah, they're probably setting up a Rancor here. I will hit you for seven, play Sword Eater. Okay. 
I don't want to necessarily use the weapon. My deck has, like, Nitro Boosts, and I don't have a second weapon in my hand. Coin. Not Rancor. Heart. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, I didn't even get to hear her say coward. Frothing stands alone! Alright. Oh, my card guaranteed and buff this. Okay. That's going to be lethal with the frothing if, uh... I'm swinging the weapon now. Let's go frothing! Uh, okay. Frothing down. Okay. Hmm... We haven't actually drawn Razor Main Raider or um, Oasis Thrasher, so we have no burst from Sarfang. Sarfang also just clears this guy. Right now he just gets back double Envoy. If this dies, he can get back this guy and potentially draw a card. I think we just do this. I have Cthulhu. Okay. So we want a Sarfang into the Anchorman. We get a card. And then one of the Envoys. Well, let's get information first. Eh, I got double. I mean, it's a lot of damage, but now, you know, it's just a board that everyone can clear. I guess you just take Run Thack. Those are, the other ones just suck, so. I hope our opponent doesn't have, you know, a Rancor here to clear these. Okay. Either Rancor or Brawl both really suck for me here. Armor up. Shield Slam? Is that all you have? Oh, uh, okay. You have double Shield Slam? Uh, that sucks. That's actually a super good draw. Run Thack. Hit this. Get a Sword Eater. Hit, hit this, hit this. Now I actually have a really solid board and you have no poison guy anymore. That sort of was probably the best draw in my deck. It's possible I do want Cutting Class in this deck now that I have the... Because I've kind of got to go back and forth over some things. Cutting Class is probably good. I probably want a second Ganarg and then add Cutting Class. Actually, one of the one of the cards that's kind of underperforming is Athletic Studies because there's just, you know, not that many great hits. There's only some medium hits. I only have a few in my in my own deck, so I think maybe I do I want to go in that direction. You're at seven. Meh. I do think I want more more reload. I do think that cutting class is probably a good choice. And another Ganarg. Okay. Fourteen. Speaking of Ganarg. Krasnov could be good too, yeah. Yeah, Krasnov is probably good if I'm playing like Nitro Bruce and stuff. Though then I kind of want to keep Athletic Studies. Does Rancor kill you first? I don't think. Oh! Are you. Okay. But okay, I guess you don't go. You don't die. It's kind of funny. You do not die on board here. Eh? Don't Cargath prime me here. Yeah, I do think that another Ganarg is good. A cutting class is good. At least one. Maybe a Krastanov. Krastanov is like one of the only things I actually really want off. 
Muteness, sure. Coerce, yeah, you're dead to the weapon. All right, well. My, uh... <laughs> my hatchet deck. Ooh, the hatchet would have been lethal, too. You'd have hit it the Gettard, because they're at one. Ha ha ha! It's funny. All right, let's let's make a couple of changes. But I do I do think that the core of what's going on here is powerful. Uh, you know, but or not necessarily powerful, but effective. <laughs> I do feel like athletic study seems like the weakest thing going on, and I do feel like I want more more solid weapons and more card draw. Let's do it. Let's craft another one of these anyway. We can have a pay, uh, matching one. So let's cut the athletic studies. I do think they're kind of medium. The deck cutting class. Maybe cut one of these privateers or the mancrick. Mancrick does get better when I have these. Yeah, let's cut one of the privateers. Play a second cutting class. Now I can play this the gold privateer. Crast enough could be good, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play crast enough right now. I do think that well, like what would I play it over? Maybe I do want it. It is really powerful with like nitro boost on stuff. It ends up being like one of the expensive cards in the deck though. It's probably worth it. Maybe I just don't play the Privateer. Yeah, okay. We'll just try the Craft Enough over the Privateer for right now and see how that goes. I mean, one of the reasons I did want the Privateers were, were more ways to quickly corrupt Nitro Boost, though. We'll see. We'll try it. Shaman. Okay, well, this is actually really nice. Ganarg, Nitro Boost, Frothing. <clears throat> Glory to the Horde. They cannot stop my work. The calm <clears throat> before the storm. Coin the man crick right now. An arid stormer, perhaps? Um, just frothing and kill this. I could also nitro boost, kill this, and that. Let's just nitro boost buffing this. Give me their tusks! It's a lot of damage right away. Yeah, I, like, in some of the earlier versions of this deck I had, I had, like, Alex, Jaza, and Grom. But I think they're, like, too slow, basically. Let's play Frothing. Og Merchant, this. Back this. Leaves them with nothing they can attack right now. They can potentially, um, frog this. Okay. Uh, order? Wouldn't you want to attack that first with this? I guess you don't want to damage your face, but okay. That works okay. Meh. Get him. Shoot, your elemental is actually insane in Elemental Shaman, and if this is like a cross class card, you definitely play it. Nature waits for no one but me. Okay. What are your nature spells, friend? Razor Main Raider is smorking face. You need some, some damage here. Bloom. Okay. Do you have a Lily Pad Lurker? A that is not a Lily Pad Lurker. That is. That is a guy you could have already played. But what is any of this accomplishing with this lightning bloom? I'm so confused. Oh, you're just getting enough guys in play so Raise Man Raider doesn't just, like, kill you. Landslide, got it. Okay. Face! Yeah! It is the place! He knows! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I was probably in pretty good shape to win that regardless, but that was pretty, uh... Pretty fortunate. <laughs> um, keep these. 
Oh, now I want now I want the men at arms back. The hatchet. Oh, thank you. I don't necessarily just want to swing to buff your guys in hand with Nitro Boost in the deck. I only have Nitro Boost and Crafts enough. I don't have the other guys now, though. I took out the Privateers. <sighs> There's the Nitro Boost. So we're just going to chill on swinging this weapon. We're going to Man Crick. Big part of the reason I have the, the threes in the medic that I have. And, and actually, I, I cut... I cut the, the, the privateers for the cutting class and crafting off, and it's possible I want them back for more early ways to corrupt Nitro Boost Poison. It's a pretty big deal. That's like part of why, you know, the deck uh, was heavier on threes. That's actually a big part of the reason I have Man Creek in my deck at all. Um, all right. I mean, Man Creek's obviously just a good card, and it gets a lot better with the cutting classes in the deck too. So, corrupt the Nitro Boost. So now this weapon becomes a 3-4. I had the two minute T2 pirate in the deck briefly. There just isn't room for everything I wanted. Huh? <sighs> Alright, get him. This guy prevents, like, protects some damage on board. I have 8, 11, 12, 13, 14 right there. Just doing this. Guarantee I get my extra 3. This guy, at best, killing this protects 5. Okay, there we go. I'm just, I'm just like, sending everything at phase. <laughs> like, I'm just, like, mathing out. I'm like, okay, if I, if I attack that for 3... At best, it, it, like, you know, saves two damage, and if it, like, you know, like, protects the damage from next turn, and if they have some sort of, like, AoE or whatever, then it doesn't. So I might as well just send the damage to face. But yeah, you do a lot of damage really fast with this. Smorkin' in the morning. 